one of the most attractive and interesting places in the Himalayas. They are also called as Gompa in local language. These are a must visit if you are anywhere in the Himalayan region. The monasteries are home to so many monks who have dedicated their lives to these monasteries and the religion. Despite their locations and age, they have one thing in common. The peace and solitude that is offered by these monasteries have no match. They are great for meditation and I'm sure you won't regret spending some time here. In addition to that, do try to understand the architecture a bit since all the structures are uniquely different and some of them even look near impossible to have been made back in those days and even now. I'm sure it will surprise you to know how these monasteries were built hundreds of years ago without technology and enough resources. You might find it difficult to reach some of the monasteries as some of them are situated far away and even at locations where you can only reach by walking or trekking, which makes it even more interesting to imagine how all that would have been constructed decades ago. Do not forget to talk to the Lamas if you get a chance and if you wish to know the real stories and local legends about the monasteries. Some of the monks will be very happy to talk to you and will always give you a warm welcome. And if you are lucky enough, they might show you the hidden places of the monasteries which are not accessible by everyone. All these monasteries follow almost the same culture and follow the teachings of Buddha. And the most famous prayer flags also come from this culture. These flags are a significant part of the culture and it is said that they should always be put where there is a flow of fresh air. The prayer flag that says Om Mani Padme Hum. This means that in dependence on the practice of a path which is an indivisible union of method and wisdom, you can transform your impure body, speech and mind into the pure exalted body, speech and mind of Buddha. <laughs>